Okay. Well, that was a clusterfuck. <laughs> Welcome to Spyro Into the Dragonfly, my very first Spyro game. As of today, I haven't played the other ones. <laughs> so it seems that we've already met a couple of the characters, including Spyro and that thing and this fairy thing. I'll pick this guy. This guy seems to have the right idea. Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. That can barely speak, or is speaking a different language, or is slightly brain damaged. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever. Who are you calling little, shorty? Nobody. <laughs> Who are you? Can we just cut the question off there? Yep, I think he's going for our dragonflies. Yep, they're all disappearing. Soon the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> and we're just gonna let him walk away. Totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. And we just let him. We kind of just followed him through the portals, being like, "You're not getting away with this, Reptar." I'm pretty sure the only time I played Spyro was like Spyro One or Two on a PC at Chipmunks. Or maybe it wasn't on computer. I remember playing it at a Chipmunks. Okay. Wait, I can move the thing. So wait, I could totally move it. So oh wait, no, it's not gonna work. Sparks, I need you to swallow before you speak. You can't be speaking to me with food in your mouth. Butterflies are the key to my healthy golden glow. Well, that's nice to know. I want to kick this sheep right up its ass. Oh good, we can just murder these animals for extra butterflies. I like this idea. It falls in line with my goals. Charge! Oh kill, we can even pick up their sheep guts. We've had our first major battle against three sheep that were minding their own business. Can I flame you? No, of course I can't. <laughs> he's, just, he's just following me. Get away from me, you annoying little prick. Oh well, let's just set these sheep on fire. Well, that was horrific. Let's do it again. You give a gamer something that's completely horrific and they will proceed to go with it. Unless it's Undertale. How do we unlock this door? Can I shove your face into the keyhole? I'm trying to change it. Oh, well, we just give Inspire a concussion. You can notice a bit of lag as well, eh? Well, okay, scratch that. You can notice a lot of lag. Spyro, I am like the Jedi Knights. I don't get sleep even in death. Leave me alone. Oh, I know I got bubble breath. We'll blow bubbles at them. And then we'll proceed to say fuck bubbles. <laughs> this entire game might just be me burning sheep. Spyro, something has happened in Dragonfly Dojo and my magic isn't working. I'm sure the magic from the dragonflies can help move the stone and bring you to the dojo. Yeah, with bubble breath you can catch dragonflies on the loose if you're close enough. That's why we've got to be... You little shit, I had you! Oh no, It looks like the red tops have frozen all the dragon masters. Okay, and what am I supposed to do about- Oh yeah, that's right, I have fire breath. <laughs> Wait, won't that kill them? Guess we'll figure it out when we get there. Well, on the plus side, he looks very protected. Yeah, there's a bunch of enemies over there. That's okay, nothing a little charge won't do. Look out, fucker! Or don't. Spyro, do what you can to return the dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remember, Spyro. And how many of you are there? The way of the dragon is to be a dragon. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Also remember that the way of the human is to be a human. Such prophetic words, I'll take them to my grave, I'm sure. We better go save all the other masters, but uh, there are four more, I guess. Do any of them have better prophetic words? Oh fuck, I just killed that guy. <laughs> She's not coming back. He looks so ready and able too. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass. And then he took a long fall off a very short cliff. What? I'm ready for this one. Okay, most creatures have an aversion to anything that's 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Metric system here, what's that? Oh, well, I guess I'm figuring that out myself. I pretty much can just use my breath on all of them. 
they, they sit there with their stupid little ninja outfits and be like, yeah, I'm going to totally take you on. And, you know, you either headbutt them off a cliff or I just burn them to a crisp. Also, I swear this game is running at like 15 frames per second. The only way that I can explain it is it runs like it's being ran off PCSX2, which makes me wonder what this would look like if it was ran off PCSX2, because that sounds even worse. Spiral, your efforts will result in much reward. I have been told, but I haven't really seen much reward. All I've seen is you guys get frozen in this heavenly tranquil you call a dojo. I've also been given such knowledgeable advice as, to be a dragon, you must first be a dragon. Spyro train coming through. Destination your face. Come here, I need to trap you. I swear I hit him. Of all the bloody things that's going to give me trouble. Get out of my way! Okay, you know what? You piss off. I'm going to deal with these guys. In the only way I know how. Fire! Uh, yeah, fuck you too. I'm going out of here. <laughs> Move on through this tranquil place of peace before I start to kill all the dragonflies. Oh, crap. Sorry. Malfunction. Oh, this guy seems impervious to fire. I don't think I was supposed to be setting him on fire. Oops. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Well, how about I push you off the edge, money bags? Pay money bags the 200 gems? Well, money bags can piss off. Yeah, for you. I don't, I'm not going to pay you anything. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, and I'm all the way back here. whoop de doo That's all right. It's not too far away from where we are. Ow. I can also concuss Spyro and set money bags on fire again. Take this, you gluttonous cretin. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. Look, Spyro, even I... Poetry? What kind of poetry do you write? Money is love. Money is life. I love money. Give me your money. It doesn't even rhyme. It just ends with, I love money. You love money. Give me your money or I will make you... Look funny? Yeah, you seem like a right twit for trying to do that. And then there's you. I love doing that attack on them because they just fly halfway across the map. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your... How much does it pay? He's figured out I'm here already. This isn't going to be any easier. There we go. You're not going anywhere, Cinder. You're going to be stuck under my foot for the rest of the fracking game. I might be starting to develop a grudge against these dragonflies. After all, if you make me chase you, I'm going to start resenting you. Can I turn this off? Oh, I can't turn it off with my face. Look at that. I guess we could just go throw it. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a Pattern. For you to destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gate. Okay. So we're now in, in Spyro tank mode. Fuck. Turn a bit over. There we go. And I'm supposed to destroy 21 of these. Oh shit. Oh, well, that went better. Look out! Oh shit. Yeah, I'll go straight up to him. Kiss him in the face and then blow him up. What's the button for evasive maneuvers? Can we just have this tank just grow legs and jump into the sky to av avoid all contact with a missile? We're slowly making our way out here, tanks. Shit. As long as I don't take any more direct shots, where the hell are we? I'm starting to think this isn't supposed to look this way. J just, just a hunch. Is it supposed to be like an invisible room? Ow! Well, no time to answer that question. Spyro's fucking dead. I might do it later. Tank ready for you when you change your mind. Thank you, General Patton. I mean, Sensei Patton. What, what, what do you want to go by, General or Sensei? 